So, like I said in the last video, we will be waiting for Blender 3.0 to be released before making any new series about sculpting or animation. And in the meanwhile, we will be exploring some new territory that I've been looking forward to testing like special effects, procedural environment generation, and creating the community characters. So let's talk about the community characters first. Quite a few months back, the patrons and I had a really long and deep discussion about the best way to handle the things I give away on this channel for free. And the reason that came up is because when I offered them the possibility of limited patron-only assets, the vast majority of them responded by saying the great thing about this channel is that I give my stuff away for free. So they actually didn't like the idea of hiding things behind a paywall on Patreon. Another thing that I learned about them was most of the support squad are actually not 3D modelers or animators. They're simply brave people who believe in the cause of this channel. So even if I offered them characters and animations, most of them really couldn't even use those kind of perks. Which put me in a bit of a tricky spot. Because traditionally the whole point of a Patreon or a member is to give incentives to join that you can only have through supporting. But that's not what the squad believes in, and that's really not what I believe in either. So that's why to this day, all my tutorials and all the assets that I've released have stayed free all this time. And as a result, I pretty much use Patreon and memberships the same way that most people use Twitter. That's where I post what I do every day, and where I take polls and questions to get opinions and directions on future content. At the same time, the support squad knows that my goal is to become a professional character creator, and eventually it will be become unfeasible for me to spend four weeks to 160 hours making a high quality character without making any sort of return to pay for life. So here is the solution that the squad and I have agreed on. Character creation is what I do. It's my favorite thing and I plan to make lots of new designs next year as I practice honing my skills. Which characters get made will be decided through votes and polls on Patreon. When a character is completed, the model will be released here to the community for free. However, the rigged and animated version of the character will be for a normal price. The reason for this is all my rigging and animation tutorials are online for free. So if you would rather not spend any money and do all the animation and rigging yourself, you have all the tools you need to be able to do it yourself free of charge. But if you would prefer not to spend all your time rigging and animating, then you can just pay for the animated model instead. Also, to reward people who follow the channel actively, after two weeks, the free model will return to normal market value. So if you like receiving free quality characters, it will be in your best interest to keep an eye on this channel channel around once every two weeks. The support squad approved of this compromise, and I think it's a very fair model. So that's the plan for next year. Which brings me to my next point. The first batch of characters that'll be released are the ones for our upcoming game, Macrophage. So the viruses, Exa, and all the main weapons for the game will be hidden in the art station soon after the game is completed. The models will be free, and the animated characters will be purchasable. There is one exception to this rule, which are the community characters. If I release something as a community character, it means that the 3D model, the rig, and the animations will be available for free permanently. Blenda and Blendo are both community characters, so they're free to download and they'll stay that way. And since we just finished the anime series, this month I'll be creating a fully Guilty Gear style shaded community character for you guys here. The reason for this is I think that it's important for you guys to have a completed character that you can study if you need, and second, if you're not a modeler or an animator, but you would still like a generic anime sci-fi soldier that you can have fun posing around, then this guy will be available for you if you need. Him. I would like to make two characters this month, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time for both. The two that I had in mind were like a killer T cell and a neutrophil. Right now I'm working on the killer T, so as soon as he's done, you guys will definitely see a video for his release here on YouTube. But anyway, that's the plan for this month and the state of things going into the future. Again, thanks for watching, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.